Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. Listen, on this morning, I'm talking about God will protect you from all evil. Let me just say it one more time. God will protect you from all evil evil. And guess what? I'm going to take you into the book of Psalms chapter 23 on this morning. This is one of me and my wife's favorite Psalm, and I know it's going to bless your life. There is nothing like the fresh word of God delivered under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. But before we go into the word of God, I want you to join us in worship as we sing. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name. It is. Come on. What a beautiful name it is. The name, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. Sing it. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Sing it with me. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name. You didn't want heaven without us. Come on, sing it with me. You didn't want heaven without us, my God. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your grace was greater. My sin was great, your grace was greater. So what could separate us? So what could separate us now? What a wonderful, what a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name. Father, as we go into the Word of God on this morning, comfort us, minister to us, strengthen us. God, encourage our hearts and let us know that you are protecting us from all evil. Have your way in our lives, God. Bless your people this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Now listen, I want to take you into the book of Psalm chapter 23. One of me and my wife's favorite psalm. I'm telling you, it's strength there. It's encouragement there. Your life's about to be blessed. Now watch this. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I just love the personal pronouns that's used right there. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Then he says, I shall not want. Now listen, who better for the Holy Ghost to anoint and inspire to write the book of Psalm 23, that David himself, who himself was a shepherd. Remember after God had anointed David with the Holy Ghost and power, David testified before King Saul, right before his assault <laughs> on Goliath the giant. David said, listen, Saul, whilst I kept my father's flock, a lion came, help me preach a minute here. A lion came and I caught him by his bed and I slayed the lion. <laughs> And a bear came and I took my sheep from out of his hands and I slayed the bear. The same God that delivered me from the paws of the bear and the jaws of the lion, this same God is going to deliver me from Goliath. I stood by to encourage somebody on this morning that God will protect you he will, somebody shout, he will protect you from all evil. Somebody help me give him praise right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now watch this. So, so David said, the Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. That means every need in your life, God is going to supply it. He is the one responsible for you. He is the shepherd. The shepherd is the one that lead the flock. The flock did not have to sit there and wonder, what am I going to eat tomorrow? No, because it was the responsibility of the shepherd to find where the good grass was. Are you listening to me? It was the responsibility of the shepherd to protect the sheep. Now watch this. So David said, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Green pastures represent prosperity. It represents good food. It represents God's taking good care of him. Not just in the physical, but in the spiritual. David said, my God, my God, my God. He lead me in green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. My God, every now and again, a storm would arise and Jesus would get up in the storm and say, peace, be still. He leadeth me. Someone say it right now. He's leading me. He's leading me. He's leading me. I say, he's leading me. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now watch this. So David said, he restores my soul. Have you ever went through a heartbreak and you needed a fresh touch of the Holy Ghost? My God, give me a floor. I just feel an anointing right here. There are many people watching me. You've suffered from a great heartbreak. Some of you have suffered from betrayal. Some of you have suffered great losses. But there is an anointing of restoration being released right now. Just lift your hands to heaven. David said, he restores, he restores, he restores my soul. God is mending together your broken heart. He's restoring you. He's restoring you. He's bringing a fresh season of restoration in your life. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Many people have suffered from a broken heart. You've been carrying around the hurt in your heart. But God is mending together your broken heart right now. He's bringing heal. I listen, he's bringing healing into your wounded emotions. Some of you have been traumatized. But the Holy Ghost is delivering you this morning. He is delivering you. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord God is on me because he has sent me to bind up the broken heart. He's bringing a healing into your spirit this morning. Come on and lift your hands to heaven. I just got to stay right where the Holy Ghost is moving. God's putting you back together again. I say God's putting you back together again. Mending together your broken heart. He's restoring peace of mind back into your life. He's restoring your joy. Because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. My God, he's putting you back together again. God's giving you another chance. It's not all up. I feel the Holy Ghost. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, every wound, every betrayal, every disappointment that you had to suffer, the Holy Ghost is bringing healing into you right now. In your emotions, in your mind, a broken spirit and a contrite heart, he will not despise. God's, the hands of the shepherd is coming over your life right now. He's mending together your broken heart. He is going to protect you from all evil. My God, I said he's going to protect you from all evil. David said, even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil because God is with me. My God, my God, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy, Goodness, goodness, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow me and you all the days of our lives. And we'll dwell in the house of God. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Come on, church. There is no one else like you. For you are great. 
You do miracles so great There is no one else like you There is no one else like you For you are great For you are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you My God There is no one else Listen, God's mending together broken hearts, broken hearts, wounded spirits. Many of you who have been wounded, a healing is coming into your emotions right now, into your mind. God is helping you to release that bitterness, that past hurt, that unforgiveness that you had towards that person. Release it right now. Hallelujah. My God. Just release it to him. You know the Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Some of you need to just make things right with God. Pray this prayer after me. Keep playing that same song. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. Just play I surrender. Say, Lord Jesus. Forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Lord, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for me that I might receive forgiveness of sins. Jesus, from this day moving forward, I accept you as Lord and Savior of my life. I surrender. I surrender all. Listen, if you prayed that prayer with me on this morning, your sins are forgiven and you are now a child of God. I want you to type below this video, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. Type it, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. There's nothing more important than a soul making it right with God and receiving forgiveness of sins and being ready to meet God in heaven. Play that again. You are great. You do miracles so great. Now I want to give some of you a chance to partner with us, to sow a seed into this ministry. We can't do this by ourselves. You can sow into the ministry right now by visiting us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give, seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations in to the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box. 117442 Carrollton, Texas 75011 -7442. We appreciate you so much more than you know. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we don't take you for granted. That's why we are with you every morning, praying with you, believing God with you, speaking the word of God into your life. And now I want to give you a chance that's not had a chance to subscribe to our channel. I want to give you an opportunity to become one of our wonderful subscribers on YouTube. Just scroll over me and my wife's photo, click on the subscribe button, and make sure your notification bell is turned on. And that way, you will not miss any broadcast that we put out there. Your life will never be the same.